How's it going guys? It's Time for Tennis here with Courtside Tennis today. You can check out my content here if you want to at Time for Tennis on YouTube and Instagram to find out some more of my content, but let's focus on this V-Core 98. So this is a racket I was very excited to try out. I am a fan of Yonex rackets and I also am a fan of their denser string patterns in general and the V-Core series is their spin heavy series racket. So what makes this racket different from the last generation? Let's talk about it. First of all, the paint job. The cosmetic is still red overall, but it is more of a black and red with some blue accents. You can take a quick look at that here. And another really interesting detail is the fact that the grommets and head guards are actually red. And that blends into the frame very nicely. I think that's a pretty cool and exciting change up myself. There's some slight changes to the mold all around the frame as well. So certain areas of the racket are a little bit thicker than they used to be on the last one, which should actually contribute to a slightly more stable frame. But on that note, this frame is actually a little more stable in my opinion because they also widened it at the 10 and the two. So you get a little bit wider of a head shape around the top and I imagine a slightly bigger sweet spot. I find that this racket actually gets a little bit more stability and plow through than the last generation of rackets while still being an extremely spin friendly racket. Another exciting change that I always appreciate is that the drill pattern, especially around the sweet spot, is a little bit tighter. Meaning that if you compare these two rackets side by side, you will find that the strings around the crosses are a little bit closer together around the sweet spot area. And generally that's going to translate to a longer lasting string bed and for someone that is a massive string bigger such as myself, that is always appreciated. All in all, this is a really solid update from Yonex and this is a very versatile racket. I think a lot of different levels of players can use this, but not only just different levels of players, different styles of players. It's a really versatile frame. It does lean on the side of wanting to put a lot of spin on the ball, but I never felt that on any of the shots that I hit, I felt held back because of the racket. Also, this racket is light enough that there is room to customize it a bit. I always enjoy putting a leather base grip on a lot of my rackets. That gives it a little bit more weight in the handle, causes the racket to be a little bit more headlight, and suddenly it's a lot more whippy. I think this could be a really fun racket with a little modification like that. But even off of the shelf, this is a very versatile racket. And it's just one of those rackets that I think it's a little hard to go wrong with it. There's so many ways that this racket can be played and quality control from Yonex always sets the bar. One more nice thing about Yonex rackets too is that the handle mold is a little bit longer. So if you got big hands and you hit a two-handed backhand, you might really appreciate that bit of extra length that you have on the handle. So the total racket length is still the same, but the handle mold just gives you a little more room on your hands to find space on the racket. And especially for the two-handers out there, I think you're really gonna appreciate that. I had a really fun time hitting with this racket in Indian Wells. If you guys want to see more content on that, you guys can check out my channel at Time for Tennis on YouTube. But that ends the review for now. Be sure to check out courtside.com to find out more. Orders over $50 ship for free. And if you're ever in the Sacramento area, come and check out one of the two locations. All right, we'll see you there or we'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.